What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Cigars and Whiskey. Uh, for our first pairing of 2017, I will be pairing the uh, uh, Macanudo Inspirado Orange, a 6x60 cigar with an American uh, bourbon maker's mark. Now, if you haven't had either one of those, then hopefully this will help you out and understand a little bit about them. And, uh, you know, and maybe if you have had them, you haven't paired them together. So this is my idea of a good pairing uh, to start the new year. I am a fan of American uh, whiskeys and bourbons, and, uh, you know, so let's get into it. So with the whiskey, for what people need to understand, uh, Maker's Mark is a uh, is considered a... It'll say right on there, a Kentucky straight bourbon. Uh, that means it's usually made with uh, with uh, with wheat, and usually uh, bourbons have a uh, a rye mixed with them. Uh, but in in this company, Maker's Mark has actually taken, replaced the rye, and they use a red winter wheat, which reduces the burning sensation and makes it more smooth to the palate. And you know, with that. You're, it gives you off, uh, you get notes of hazelnut, uh, sometimes you get touches of fruit, uh, you get a toasty oak as the backbone, and sometimes even like it tastes like, almost like a spiced honey. That's why I picked for the Macanudo Inspirado Orange, uh, which is a newer cigar that was released in October of 2016 by Macanudo and General Tobacco. And this is, as you can see, it is a reddish Colorado wrapper. It has rich notes uh, of caramel and maple and a little bit of a char chariness on the finish. So I thought that would pair well with uh, a bourbon that had oak and a little bit of sweetness to it. So we'll go ahead and get it, be back with it. I'll be in the first third of the cigar and I'll have some, um, some of the bourbon and then we'll leave it at that, and then you can make your determination if you think it's a good pairing and it's not. You know, again, this is based on my palate and my preferences, so not everything that you see is something that you would uh, necessarily try yourself, but I hope you would try it, at least give your idea, your palate an idea of what's out there, and you might even think of something better to pair with the cigar, or something better to pair as a cigar with the whiskey. All right, everybody, back with the review of our pairing with the Macanudo Inspirado Orange 6x60 and the Maker Mark Kentucky Bourbon. With the cigar, the profiles we get off of this is going to be a body of a medium to a full, and it is uh, getting a little bit of sweet maple, even maybe a partial caramel flavor on the profile, a little bit of sweet hay and a little bit of char that's coming out through the finish of the cigar so very good with that and I think pairing that with the Maker's Mark a small batch, sorry not soft batch, small batch uh, bourbon meaning that they hand make everything it's not mass produced so you are getting a good quality let me go ahead and take some of this oh real smooth a little bit of a sweetness off of that. Uh, the finish is uh, real sweet, like a butterscotch, and almost like a dry oak spice. It's it does warm up now. It's starting to warm up the the throat a little bit, uh, but we can get off the, the f nose of the of the bourbon. They're getting a, a fruitiness, like a spiced honey with a, a mixed peel, possibly a touch of uh, hazelnut so I really think it goes great like I said with this cigar because this cigar giving off you know the uh, the, the orange and the uh, and a little bit of charredness that goes with the oak in the barrel like I said earlier so all in all that is my pairing uh, for the first one of this year 2017 the Macanudo Inspirado Orange and Maker's Mark Kentucky Bourbon if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe. Always leave your comments. Thanks again for tuning in to Scars of Whiskey. Have a great day. Have a great smoke. And I'll catch you next time.